travel far Armed with seven nations Was harmed in many places But still had not found a promised land But all the walls of Jericho stand With an angry king in the middle But instead of drawing her weapon She played from bits and fiddles It's time for these walls to come down As you can tell, the herbs are coming in quite nicely. This month has been so crazy that it's hard to believe that it's already time to start cutting and drying herbs and starting things like fire cider and extracts and tinctures because if we want that to be ready by fall, we have to start now because a lot of it takes weeks to mature. And so I really, I really like saving herbs for the winter for us and for our chickens. I'm a big believer in herbal health for chickens and so I like making sure that I have lots of oregano and 
lemon balm and peppermint and things like that for them for the winter. So I'm going to gather some lemon balm today and oregano and start drying that. And then I'm also going to take some of the more medicinal herbs and start making my tinctures. The echinacea roots on my plant are mature. I've been growing them for about five years now. So I'm going to get some echinacea tincture going. But I really can't believe it is already time for all of this. Look at that beautiful echinacea flower. Some stuff unfortunately didn't survive the storms, but the herbs did, and the cone flowers did, and the elderberries did, and the squashes did. So I'm very thankful for that. And it's time to start thinking what we're going to do with everything that the Lord has given us. Like in the nook, our nook, it's almost done. Almost, you like it? I know it's hot. Cozy weather's coming, bud. That afternoon, looking up from her sewing to thread her needle, Laura saw a wisp of smoke wavering in the heat waves from the prairie. Pa had taken time from his work in the oat field to cut a swath around the patch of Spanish needles to set fire to those vicious grasses. The prairie looks so beautiful and gentle, she said, but I wonder what it will do next. Seems like we have to fight it all the time. This earthly life is a battle, said Ma. If it isn't one thing to contend with, it's another. It always has been so, and it always will be. The sooner you make up your mind to that, the better off you are, and the more thankful for your pleasures. She liked working with Pa, and she liked working outdoors in the sun and the wind. Besides, secretly she was hoping to leave off her corsets while she worked in the haying. I suppose you may help to load the hay, Ma agreed reluctantly, but it will be stacked in town. Oh Ma, no! Do we have to move to town again? Laura cried. Modulate your voice, Laura, Ma said gently. Remember, her voice was ever gentle, low, and soft. An excellent thing in woman. You know that we could have not lived through the last winter here. Maybe this winter won't be so bad, Laura pleaded. We must not tempt Providence, Ma said firmly. Laura knew it was decided they had to live in town again next winter, and she must make the best of it. The cozy weather's coming. It's coming. I just know it. It's coming.